Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson eight, adding three or more single digit numbers. So here I have the number four plus seven plus three. Okay. Now, you can use strategies to find the answers to these questions. For example, on this first problem, I could add seven plus three first, because I know seven plus three equals 10. Okay, and then I could add four to it, and 10 plus four equals 14. Okay, on the second problem, I could add five and three first, because then five plus three equals eight, and eight plus eight equals 16. And we know this because this is a double, which we've learned before. Okay, on the last one, we, can just, we could just add it in order. So we could do four plus nine, and that's 13, and then 13 plus seven equals 20. So there's lots of different strategies we can use. The way we found the answer was a different strategy. Okay, so here I've got all these numbers I wanna to add together. I've got four plus six plus three plus five plus nine plus three plus nine plus four plus one plus two plus seven plus five. Whew, that would take a long time. If I add just one number to the next number, we would call that adding on. Okay, so if I wanted to add on, this is what it would look like. All right, so six plus four, or sorry, four plus six is 10. Okay, 10 plus three is 13. 13 plus five is 18. 18 plus 9 is 27, 27 plus 3 is 30, 30 plus 9 is 39, 39 plus 4 is 43, 43 plus 1 is 44, 44 plus 2 is 46, 46 plus 7 is 53, and 53 plus 5 is 58. Okay. But that's not always the easiest way to add long strings of numbers. Another way we can do this is looking for numbers that add up to have a sum of 10. And this is called making tens. And this is probably the easiest way to do it. All right. So what groups, what sums of 10 do you see? Well, I know that four plus six equals 10. And I usually do this by drawing little arrows for the numbers so I know that I've used them. And then I cross off the numbers I've used so I don't get confused, okay? Well, I also know that five plus five equals 10. So I'm gonna cross those off. I know that three, oops, 3 plus 7 equals 10. So I'm going to cross those off. And then I know that 9 plus 1 equals 10. So cross those off. Okay. And there's no more sums of 10 that are just popped out. So I'm going to circle the numbers I have left over. So I've got a 3 a four and a two left over. Oops, and I had a nine. I crossed off the wrong nine. This one, there we go. That's why I would have to double check. Okay, so a three, nine, four, and two is what I have left over, okay? So I'm gonna add the tens first and then add the leftover numbers. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, okay? Now I'm going to add what I have left. So I have 40 and I have three, nine, four, and two. Okay, so 40 plus three is 43. Plus nine is 52. Plus four is 56. Plus two is 58. Okay, all right, let's try another problem. So I've got the number and I've got it horizontal this time. So first we're going to find groups of 10 and then circle the leftover numbers. Okay, so let's look and see what I've got. Well, I know that nine plus one is 10. So cross those off. 
and 2 plus 8 is 10. Cross those off. Um, 7 plus 3 is 10. So I'm cross those off. And then 4 plus 6 is 10. Okay, so I'm going to double check, make sure I don't have any other 10s. I don't. So I'm left with an 8 and a 5. So let's add our 10s first. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, so then we have 40 plus 5 is 45. And then 45 plus 8 is 53. So my final answer is 53. All right, let's do this problem. So first we want to look for 10s. And I've got, okay, so 6 and 4 is 10, so cross those off. 9 and 1 is 10, so cross those off. And then 8 and 2 is 10. Okay, so I'm left with 7 and 5. So we add up my 10s, 10, 20, 30. So I've got 30. So then we do 30 plus 7 is 37. 37 plus 5 is 42 and that's my final answer okay let's do one more okay so look for groups of 10 and so i know 7 and 3 is 10 so i can cross those off and then hmm i don't have any other groups of 10 in this one except i can combine three numbers so i know that 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 4 is 10. So I can actually define these three numbers into a group of 10. Okay? All right. Um, so we're going to have to add up from here. So we have 10, 20. Okay? And then I know that 8 plus 4 is 12. And then I need to add 7 to it. So that would be... 19. Then I have another 8. So 19 plus 8. I've done those and I've done that one. So 19 plus 8 is 27. And then 27 plus 7 is 34. And then I can add up the 20, the 10s. So 34 plus 20 is 54. So sometimes you don't have lots of groups of 10. But you can combine um, three numbers into 10 if you can. All right, and that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.